Good morning, everyone. I'm so glad you're here once again to learn more about our Savior, Jesus Christ. And today we're going to learn not just about Jesus, but we're going to learn about God the Father, God the Son, that's Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. You see, there's this thing that the Bible talks about that's very hard to understand, and it doesn't even make sense mathematically. You know, because if I were to ask you, what's one plus one plus one? One plus one plus one equals... You're going to tell me three, I hope. Yeah, three. One plus one plus one equals three. But we have three persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. But we don't have three gods. We have one God. That's what it means when the Bible says we have a triune God. We have three people we know about, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, three persons but just one God. My mind's blown. I don't understand how that works. Three persons, one God. You see, the Father is not the Son, and the Son is not the Spirit, and the Spirit is not the Father, but we have one God. The Son is God, the Father is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. Three persons, one God. It's hard to understand, and if you don't understand it, That's okay, because we can just trust that God knows what, who he is. He knows that he's going to give us what we need to know. He's he's given us everything important for us to know. And so he's told us there are three persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. But there is one God, one plus one plus one equals one. (laughs) Siri thinks it's three. It's actually one. Now, I have one thing to say about this. Why is it so wonderful that we have three persons in one God? When you learn about what God has done for you, it increases our faith in him and our trust in him and our love for him. Think about what the Father has done for you. He created the world, and he takes care of the world. Think about what the Son has done for you. He came to this earth. He was born a little baby. He took on human flesh, and he lived a perfect life, and then died an innocent death, all for you to pay for your sins and to give you his perfect life in your place so that you get to go to heaven. Think about what the Holy Spirit has done for you. He has worked through his word, through the message. He has worked in your heart to bring you to faith. He has brought you to faith through baptism. He increases people's faith through the Lord's Supper. The Holy Spirit creates and takes care of, takes care of and increases faith, your faith in your heart so that you can hold on to that message so that you can trust in your savior so that you can trust in your god forever let's pray dear god thank you for all that you have done as our father as our Savior, and as our Comforter. Amen. That's the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our Father, God the Father, our Son, our Savior, and the Holy Spirit, our Comforter. I hope you all have a wonderful week. God bless you all. See you soon.